Hi everybody, my name is Juan Carlos Valdez. I'm an artist, animator, and professor of computer animation. And today I'm pre presenting to you my very first um, video animation tutorial. And this will be the first of many different uh, video tutorials that I will be posting up uh, both here on YouTube and on my uh, blog. My blog name is JuanCarlosValdez.com and um, this uh, tutorial that I'll be uh, demonstrating for you is a very, and when I mean very, I mean very, <laughs> very uh, basic walk cycle. I am using the uh, simple bot rig downloaded from uh, creativecrash.com, which has so many wonderful things for uh, everybody in the 3D animation world. Uh, so I suggest you guys, if you haven't looked it up yet, go to it and you know feel free to you know look at everything there because there's a lot of good good stuff at that website so again creativecrash.com um, the reason I'm using simple bot is because it's simple bot <laughs> um, the rig is very simple to use uh, uh, it's very straightforward nothing fancy um, it, all it is really is just a sphere with legs and uh, eyes and a little mouth <laughs> and so uh, this is a very quick little tutorial that I am posting up my next video tutorial will be a little more detailed slower uh, with uh, more step-by-step -step ways of creating a walk cycle but this is just to get us started you know get us walking moving uh, getting familiar with Maya uh, I'm using Maya 2011 in this case and um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay. So uh, the first thing I like to do whenever I start an animation with a rig um, that I it's, that it's not my own, I go ahead and hide things I don't need to see, um, especially the joints. Uh, the joints can really mess you up if you accidentally set keys on them. Uh, so go ahead and right there in the viewport under show just hide everything except the NURB curves which are the controllers and the polygon uh, the polygons are the actual character itself or unless you made a character out of NURB's surfaces so show that um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use uh, and select only the controllers that I need for this walk cycle uh, very basic this walk cycle won't have many or any, any really personality put into it, it's just basic basic stuff. So I'm selecting uh, the legs and the body and I'm going to set a key on frame 1 which is getting cut off at the edge of the screen a little bit but it's there. Um, and the first pose I'm going to create is a down pose. Uh, there are four major poses in a walk cycle and this first one is the down. Uh, the down is the pose that we create after we've just taken a step. So uh, rotate the body, bring the body down so the legs are bent, and position the legs apart from each other. Uh, you know, create a good pace between the two, and um, move the body into position so you create what's called a line of action. This line of action is a uh, w something that we do in create in order to create movement. It, it's the illusion that uh, shows that there's some type of movement happening throughout the body. Uh, so I'm putting uh, the first frame and the last frame, this case frame 24, to look exactly the same. Uh, I set a key on frame 12, but the only difference is, is that I'm going to switch the feet. Uh, this is also a down pose, so in a walk cycle, there will be three, or at least three, um, in this case, because I'm only doing just a 24 frame walk, and it's just going to be looping continuously. Um, so on frame 12, just switch to feet. So if you had the left foot in the back, bring it forward, um, and vice versa with the right foot. Uh, the left foot in this case is the blue controlled foot, and the red one is the right foot. So I'm just sliding, just look at the animation right there on the timeline, and I'm going to move the knees out of the way uh, so that they're not um, bothering me a little bit. And now I'm going to go and just check how everything looks. But mostly I do all my walk cycle uh, stuff here in the side view. It's just a good way to see the actual uh, positions of the walk. So the next major pose in the walk cycle is on frame 6, which is called the passing pose. And that's at the moment that the foot that was in the back is now coming forward. And it's uh, in a very important pose because it's also that pose that looks like, you know, there's 
uh, something happening. So each one of these poses, the four poses that I'm talking about, are storytelling poses. If we were to stop the animation on, on any one of those four, it shows that the character looks like he's walking, like this one. This one is on frame 9. This is called the contact. That's because the foot is coming on contact with the ground. Um, the, the heel of the foot is touching the ground, as you can see there. And I'm using the grid, the black line there, which is the zero point of the grid as my floor. I'm um, bringing the body down a little bit because I'm trying to avoid uh, having the legs be too straight. I want them always to be have uh, have a very slight bend to them. Um, so I'm here, I'm scrubbing, checking how it looks, and everything is looking fine. Uh, now I'm going to go on to frame uh, 18 after I finish adjusting uh, some of the, the poses there. And uh, I'm going to move over to frame 18 right now. <laughs> and this 18 is also a passing pose. Uh, so in this in this walk cycle, a 24 frame walk cycle, there will be three um, down poses, two passing poses, and two contact poses. Uh, again, this passing pose um, is where the foot comes over. And just keep uh, in mind that when you do a passing pose, the foot actually stays very close to the ground. Um, here's the contact pose on frame 21. Now the up pose, I'm not actually going to make because Maya is doing it for me. The up pose will be on frame 3. Um, in 2D animation, you can actually switch the passing pose and the up pose. Um, and you can do the same thing in 3D as well. Uh, but in this case, I'm not actually going to create an up pose. Uh, I don't think it's necessary. If, again, very, very basic walk cycle. Um, my next step is going back to the passing poses and not actually all the other poses and tweaking the toes. I'm setting a key on frame 4 because there was a part where the toe penetrated the ground and I want to make sure that doesn't happen. Here I'm raising the toes up so that it creates a flop when he actually takes his first step on frame 12. So you can see that the foot is delayed and then flops down. Uh, then on the other foot, which is the uh, right foot with the red controller, I'm uh, positioning the toes down on the passing so it creates kind of like a drag and uh, going to my wireframe to make sure that it's not touching the ground and so there I just changed it 21 bring it back 21 remember is the passing pose here you can see that the the foot is actually going through the floor between 12 and uh, 18 so I want to go back and fix that and the way I can fix it is by simply just repositioning the foot on either 12 or 18 in this case I'm doing 18 so I'm just bringing it higher now it's still going through just a little bit so I'm going back to 15 uh, frame right there, frame 15, and just going to raise the toes slightly up so it's actually touching the floor so that it looks like the the foot is just dragging a little bit then back over to 21 there's the foot rolling back more of a flop and there you can see that the feet are flopping as he walks now this is nowhere near done this is just very basic basic stuff um, I want to move the eyes away so he doesn't look psychotic when he walks, uh, just to get him out of the out of the way. He looks better, gives him more of a of a place where he's actually walking to, kind of feel. Uh, but now I'm gonna go ahead and take his body and on frames six and on eighteen, which are the passing poses, I'm going to rotate his body on the side, as you can see here on his left side, uh, and on the right side on the next one which the foot that's going up, I want to raise it so that it creates that look. It looks like he's using his body to propel him forward. forward excuse me. Um, on frames 1, 12, and 24, I'm going to do this uh, different type of pose with the body. Bring, rotate it so that the foot that's coming forward, that side of the body is going forward as well. So what it creates, it looks, it's a look of uh, that he's using his body to move his limbs forward rather than having the legs move because that's not how it works in real life. Uh, the way we actually move is our our hips move our legs, which propel us forward, just like our shoulders move our arms. So that's one thing you want to really make sure that you are able to accomplish when you're animating a walk cycle, that the body is moving the limbs and not the other way around. Here I'm removing everything so I can see the animation without any obstruction so in this case uh, I don't want to see the controllers so I can just see the animation clean um, and see how it looks and it's not bad uh, again very basic no personality no character 
um, the feet are actually wrong in this position because the feet point outward when we walk. But I just did this as a, as a starter, um, as a way to get us uh, moving and understanding how to work in Maya and what to look for. But uh, my next video will talk more about uh, all the positions uh, more specifically and uh, take it a little slower, uh, go more step by step and it have a little more explanations on how the anatomy of the walk really works. So, uh, you know, stay tuned. Uh, this was just kind of like a teaser, but uh, stay tuned for more tutorials and uh, more videos. And I'm going to be covering a lot of different videos as well, or I'm sorry, a lot of different subjects in the videos. I want to do more of um, more of animation, both in 2D and 3D. Uh, some drawing tutorials and CG modeling tutorials, and any other subject that. Uh, may uh may be very useful for you so uh you know stay tuned for that and uh remember uh, i will be posting this stuff on uh, youtube obviously but also up on my blog at juancarlosvaldez.com um there you'll see uh some other tutorials uh, some discussions i've written out and some of my other work uh, so feel free to visit and um and leave drop a comment or two uh so i look forward to that and I look forward to creating more uh, videos. Uh, this was fun. And um, stay tuned. All right. So uh, have a good day. And uh, see you next time. Bye.